All right, here we go. Last ship of the day, most likely. From the amazing, incomparable Slow Rider X Core. Make sure pause is on, yes. It is the SMPK Insurrection mod, which has continued to be worked on. A lot of cool stuff been added. New weapons and stuff. Um, we're doing the plus ships. Um, those are the random version ships, the question mark ones, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, we're getting close. We actually only have the Zoltan ships left in this, I think. Apart from Fed C, I think, is the one. We did Fed B last time, is that right? Fed B plus? Fed B plus was the last one. So Fed C plus is the last of these. And I think we only have the uh, Zoltan plus ships. All right, this ship is called the Macaw. <laughs> I love it. What's your favorite ship? The Macaw. Interesting. So this is the paint job of the Kestrel Sea on the Fed Sea. Time to come out of lurking right at the end of a capital C test run. Nice. Federation Cruiser Plus. This Osprey class cruiser was captured by pirates. Its artillery beam and supporting weapons are extensively changed, completely warping the ship's skill set. It's got a chain custom laser for one power. A stun bomb. Interesting. Um, no teleporter. And a pirate artillery beam. Vindicator beam extensively modified by the pirates. It no longer deals damage, but ignites massive fires. Okay, it's a fire beam artillery. Now that is unique. I don't know if I've ever seen a... Have I ever seen a... Fire beam as an artillery? I'm not sure if I've ever seen that. Okay. Well, let's check what this thing can do. Uh, we also got to read the... What is it? The database thing. Better the fridge today. This pirate-controlled Osprey cruiser wasn't modified anywhere near sadistically, at least for the crew in command of it. Instead, the existing beam tech was tampered with to create a truly terrifying weapon that would likely be classified... Classified in the same category of illegality as the anti-bio beam. This modified artillery beam retains the same shield-ignoring power of the Vindicator. It can no longer deal damage by itself. Instead, it shares a fire beam's volatile tendency to ignite fires. It combines that strength with a potentially massive range of the artillery beam. Not only is the resulting chaos often overwhelming, it benefits even further from the second-generation artillery tech to fire even faster than before. Such a potent fire hazard mandates the correct tools to allow it time to take control, and thankfully the macaw... Carries an unusual but very potent tool to help there. Its custom-built chain laser provides decent damage. It's faster over time. The stun bomb is the star of the show. Combining decent disruptive power with the ability to force opponents to stand still in the fire and flames for 10 seconds. Ship is more than ready for combat. Interesting. Does this mean stun bomb will actually be useful? Has some counter evasion on it. It does two ion damage instead of one. And it's got a 10 second stun. Interesting. Pie Boy, is this your favorite ship ever? Because it's now a useful stun bomb? The right amount of walls of text. Stun bomb is useful. <laughs> you didn't know it at the time, but the MV Fed C is also a fire beam artillery ship. Okay, so multiverse. Well, multiverse is kind of like um, Simpsons is, right? Simpsons has done everything, like that one South Park episode says. Multiverse has done everything with 8,000 ships. All right, how to fire this? Um, okay, let's do this. Oh God, isn't this one of those things that just fires a whole bunch of shots? Yeah, it's like a flak. Uh, are you kidding me? It can start fires by itself. Jesus. Okay, that'll eye on his weapons, at least. This should hopefully buy us time. Repair. Do, 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 do. Okay, good. All right. Fire beam is almost ready. Let's see how crazy the fire beam can be. All right, stun him in a fire. You've never played multiverse? Vent shields 
Uh, with two crow, I think I think I did it the correct way. This is gonna be a really long run if we're gonna be waiting on fire beam artillery to get our kills. Uh, does this thing have any fire chance on it? It it does. It has ten percent. I feel like this is gonna need a lot more bombs than it starts with if we we're actually supposed to stun them in the fires. This is like the lighter ship from last week. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be on your ship either. I wouldn't want to fight me neither. All right, Flash. All right. Um. So now the big question is, will his crew die before his ship burn downs? And I think they are guaranteed to, I think. Yeah, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. All right. Hope you all are ready for a slow fire run, because that's what this ship's going to be, it looks like. Uh, does, it have, does the ship have anything to sell? It does not, so I probably don't even go to a store. Shield guy, this is fine. Okay, uh, we can take damage here. Is that gun basically a one power chain laser? Uh, I believe so. I think it's slightly even faster because I think charge time is 15 seconds on the vanilla one. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's a really nice double fire from 10% chance. Yeah, I think his first attack is faster. I don't know if the full charge time is faster or not. If I do this, will the NG stop preparing now? Okay. It's still 32 seconds, man. It's still a long time. I don't think I ever crew kill this. He's already too low on health. That's a pretty good deal, though. You know what? If I'm going to use stun bombs, I'm actually going to take a four missile deal. I'm also going to take shield value there. Uh, here's where fire beam is pretty worthless. Oh my god. This ship is insane. Thank god it's not a combat drone, but still, this is it's actually terrifying. And he dodged, and he's a double fireman. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Welp. I have no doors at the same time as I have a double fire. Okay, at least we get the burst laser two offline. I think I better send you over here too. Okay. I swear, every time I play S and PK, I just I feel like Sector One ships are so busted, man. I don't know what it is about your mod, Slow Rider, that Sector 1 ships always just feel way stronger than vanilla Sector 1 ships. I don't know, man. Animated engines, yeah. Oh, on the enemy ship there were animated engines? That's cool. Slow Rider does a lot of cool extra stuff, man. Wish I had 100% dodge. Did we actually do damage with the beam? It's pretty nice. We need a little luck after they got a double fire from the single burst laser shot. That's a nice double reward. Fire does reset AI ship's repair progress. Okay, that's nice. Alright, only 8 damage or whatever we took there. I need 15 more scrap for level 2 shields. Let's 
So this, uh, the Piranha, for those who are interested, is a two power five shot weapon that does not pierce shields, I believe. It's like a flak that costs missiles. Um. Oh wait, it suppresses shields. Okay, so it's like a, it's like a flak. It's like a flak that costs missiles for more projectiles, but doesn't pierce shields. I think. But it can knock shields down, I believe. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Mozerks. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, let's get our shields up. Now that means I gotta decide on if I... How, how I charge my weapons here. So that is, I think, only seven jumps. So seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, we can get all these. Boom, bing, boom, boom, bing. All right, two shields. All right, we're safe now. We are safe. So I do not need to use any more bombs on this fight. Unless this thing pierces. I don't think this thing pierces. Okay, good. Bing, bong, bong, bong. Bong, bong. Bing, bong. Ha! How am I getting double fires with 10%? I feel like all of the fire chances on these different weapons are lying. I'm pretty sure we got a double fire from a 10% burst laser too earlier. Apparently the game knows it's happy, happy fire day. Beep boop beep boop. Oh, that was a lot of fires. All right. Nice. Double reward. Okay, that's very nice. That gives enough for power. I don't see a store. So let's get power. That way we can have this all online. Now, I don't normally upgrade artillery. However, this one... I might consider upgrading artillery on this one. Because of basically a fire beam. There are very few weapons that I don't mind if I don't have the ability to aim them. Firebeam is probably one of the few that I'd kind of be okay if I can't aim it. Because all we care about is fires randomly on their ship, so... How much it does it cost to upgrade the artillery? 35, okay. I might wait a little bit, but I will... compare, Especially compared to the previous ship, I am much more likely to have fire uh, this fire artillery beam be, uh, be something we invest in earlier in the run. Identify the enemy ship. He's got a missile and a laser. They're gonna be running, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's good. We do this. The Ion at level 2, does that last long enough we get two chain laser shots? Barely, nice, okay. Uh, if I pull, if I want to pull the pilot, I need to shoot something that's not piloting. Okay. I don't think we ever crew kill, though. But with our sensors up, we can see. By the way, I like very much that you gave this level 2 sensor so we can see the... Uh, See the carnage. Good. Only problem is he's gonna run to piloting, isn't he? Alright. That's actually pretty cool that sensors do that in this mod. Yeah. Slowrider has done a lot of things I really like in his SMPK Insurrection mod. This is the, this is fine ship. Yeah, <laughs> this is fine. As I have my coffee. Frickin' missiles, man. Frickin' missiles. 
Not my weapons, not my weapons. Okay, good. Damn it. F you, FTL. By the way. He dodged half of both of my volleys. Cool. I will never not whine at missiles in this stupid game. I will never not whine at them. Christ almighty. Thank God. All right. Three health. I don't think we crew kill this with three health. But we'll let the fires go. Let's go repair this in the meantime. With four fires, I don't think he'll ever go on the weapon, so at least I don't have to worry about missiles anymore. But I'm pretty sure his ship will burn down before his crew dies. Unless we can stun them strategically. <laughs> okay. Well, if it hits the perfect rooms... Do I do this in time? Yes! Got him! Alright. Oh, whew! This is gonna burn down right after the crew dies, right? Where is it? Where is it? There it is! Okay. 31 scrap. What do I want to do next? Do I want to upgrade that next? Or do I want to get power? Do I want to try to get this piranha online? It's pretty missile intensive if I try to use the piranha. Never trying to recruit slavers. Uh, except he's got a burst laser too, though. Heal bay means this is probably not going to be a crew kill ship either. Pretty good dodges, actually. He's got an NG repairing, doesn't he? Trying to not use more stuff. Oh, that's too good of a deal to pass up. I have to take that deal. Do, do, do. Okay. Offer your help. Okay. Fuel and missiles, those are two things I need, so thank you for that, even if we don't get the quest. Oh, I can't sell missiles. I would like to, but Stun Bomb is the only thing letting us get through shields pretty much right now. NG? Yeah, I have NG for the blue option, let's go. Uh, Slow Rider, is there anything else we need to unlock? Pirate, Pirate Stronghold I still need to look for, I believe. I believe Pirate Stronghold is the thing. We have Clone Bay. Is the artillery modified in any way? Um, did you just join? Because it's completely different. It's completely a fire beam. Nice. Crystal shotgun. Three power, five shots. 15 second charge time. So it's basically a flak. Crystal weapon, right? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's it's a it's a fire beam, the fire beam artillery, which is pretty crazy. Makes for some slow fights, but for some interesting crew kill um, opportunities. This fire beam artillery. Good dodges. Um, you'll see, I'm actually using it, so you'll see it in just a second. Base cooldown of, what, 32 seconds or something like that? Ooh, 
when did I when did I vent you? When the hell did I do that? I have no idea when I did that. I love 50% dodge. I love it. It's my favorite. What? Come on, game. You gotta give me a better delay than that when you give me a stupid... Why was this on no delay? Ah, oh, well, I hope that we got a good deal, because I didn't even see the damn deal. Uh, what do I have to sell? These two things. So I want to use them. I feel like mind control would be really good on this ship. For the fire beam... Improve our ability to stop them from repairing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Yeah, I hate accidental surrender skips. I, I don't I don't know why it was like that. You know what? I'm taking this because I think it's always a 13 scrap. I think it's always a uh profit taking that to the store to sell. Alright, good. A guy who can't do damage unless he hacks our shields. Okay, we're good. It was one fuel, one drone part, ten scrap. Okay, that's not bad. Probably wouldn't have chosen that deal if I actually had the choice, but did we just get piloting training there? Wow. But that could have been worse for sure. Do you have hacking stun? Or does hacking have a chance to stun passively now in, in your mod, I wonder? Oh, really? You started one fire? Not a bad deal, too, but since I just accidentally took one, I'm not taking another deal. I don't think we ever crew kill this. Yeah, I just done too much damage. RNG to give and taketh even from her most fun toy. <laughs> That's right. Six, seven. Okay, all right. So we're going to be going to both stores. We are going to sell the compressed oxygen. Offload some trade goods. So we got this for 13, so it was a profit of 12. Oh, uh, wow. Go full anti-personnel mode, huh? Temporal drive. Now, temporal drive could also be good because we can make the fire spread faster. A oh, weapon charge booster is good too. This affects artillery, right? Oh, oh, that's artillery upgrade right there. Interesting. Interesting. Um, strike range ninety. So these are the same range. This costs a missile. This does not cost a missile. But this costs one extra power. I'm absolutely getting this guy. Um, I'd like to get emergency power. Do I sell the, tor the piranha? I feel like I should hold on to that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the emergency power. We have room for two systems. Honestly, mind control temporal manipulator could be really good on this ship. Changing mind, Ryan's, Rand's, Rand's mind about artillery being useful. If anybody could do it, slow rider would be the one. I now have zero scrap for this other store. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's awesome. Wish I had had that before the store, but you know what? I'll take it. That's like a, there's like a 50 scrap for free deal. Flood their ship with auction. We've been boarded. Rude, man. I'm just trying to help you out. I'm just trying to help you out. I swear, nobody's grateful these days. 
Oh no, I can just do this. I forgot. I don't have to do dolphin flip. In you know, SMPK, I guess tell them where to move and they'll swap. All right, let's hope this quest is good. I think it's an escort. Um, missing cargo ship. Attack the rebels, help them escape. Okay, you have a missile. Oh, God, it's an ASV fight. Okay. Oh, God. Good, that hits. He hits my weapons. But I get his missile offline at least. Missile stunned me. Since when does a random Leto missile or whatever that is stun? Alright, double fire. Oh, we're gonna take so much damage from this fight, aren't we? Jesus, I hope we get a free repair from this. Okay. Let's get the drone control offline so that this guy stops putting fires out. Okay. How many value points do you have? A lot. Oh, I have no O2. Uh, okay. Could you stop breaching me for the love of God? Do I at least get to recover without the ASB firing at me? No. No, I don't. What a troll event, man. Uh, Jesus. You really should make this... Not have the ship fight anymore, or not have the ASB anymore after the fight, I feel like Slowrider. Because holy crap, that's punishing. I know you can make ASBs go away after the fight. I've seen it in, you know, other mods in Manila and stuff. I feel like that should go away. But I don't know, maybe the event. I don't know. Uh, who do I lose training on? This guy is going to take forever. You forget that that event exists. Okay. It's going to take forever. Because I don't want to lose training on any of my other crew. There's a pre-igniter. Can I get level 202? Yes, and it's cheaper. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I can't be bothered to... Wait on that. Uh, yes, actually, and I forgot about it. You're right. I completely, I always forget about every crew in this mod has abilities. I f always forget about that. Cannot attack or repair. He could have been immune, but can't attack or repair. He's got haste, which makes him move speed and melee damage go faster. And yours is, you. I think it costs you health to upgrade your power thing. Alright, no mind control to buy. Temporal move there's too expensive. Electron beam is nice. Variable flak is strong. All this stuff is good, but I don't think it's worth spending scrap on. Subscribing Hey Bible, thanks for the gifted stuff to Slow Rider. Appreciate that, man. Subscribing Hey, what's up, uh Earth Earth Mal chillin'? Hope I'm having a great day. Pretty good. First run was rough. Other runs have been pretty good. Okay. All right, cool. I'm going to go for the crew kill here and just wait for fire beam. Been working on an extension to the ship computer interface to add the help menu you've been wanting to add for ages. Interesting. What is this? Mods without subs? <laughs> Hmm. 
You've gotten some entries done in your last test room proved that nothing's broken, which is a relief. That's cool. Nice to hear your mod's not broken. It's always encouraging. Okay. Let's try to stun them in that fire. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> That's pretty effective. All right, that worked well. I think I can finish him with the laser once he goes somewhere. There we go. Beautiful. Extended electron beam. Wow. The heck is that? Two power, two second longer charge time. Um, so it's a lower ion rate, but it's, oh, it's strike range is a lot higher and speed is higher. Interesting. This is an ion beam. Pretty slow, but I mean, we have a pretty slow thing already. Does this stun? It has a 30% chance to stun. Wow. Stun beam with stun fire. That sounds like that has potential. Can I upgrade? Can... I'm going to get that for value point. Now I have the option to use this if I want. It's quite interesting. Happy 4th of July. I'm from the US. I am. It is the 4th of July and... There will probably be lots of fireworks tonight, so many dogs will be scared this evening. Thankfully, I don't have a dog to be scared. To get scared by that. This is a this is a dive sector, 100% here. Down with the British. Thanks for saying that, Pie Boy UK. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Um, yeah, we actually have to do this, I think. Oh man, he's got a boarding drone too. Give me a break, man. <sighs> okay. Mine fast enough. Okay. Of course he dodges half my shots. Why the heck wouldn't he? I might be a little late on this. Come on, shields. Ugh, just barely. Oh, my doors are busted, man. This effing fight, boarding drone, this guy's got three or four power and drone control. Ah, oh, this artillery's so effing slow, man. I don't know how to stop this. I just have to let him do that damage and not let my crew die. And I have no O2 and a breach. Holy shit. Fuck me, double do give me a goddamn break, you shit game. Come on, man. You're right, I have backup battery, I forgot. Come on, fucking double dodges. Give me a break from this shit right now. It's not the weapon I needed offline game. Come on, artillery. You are so shitty and slow. You know, I just get the hell out. We lose a jump, but F that fucking fight right there. I have to refresh all my dudes, man. This is so stupid.
What a busted ass fight that was. Alright, I have to refresh everybody, man. If I have another effing fight like that, I'm so screwed. Oh my god, man. Slow ass weapons and that guy was just What was that? That was a that was just a single boarding drone that I could not deal with because of all my crew being no health. <sighs> Come on, game. Don't do me like this. This artillery to even buff from 50 seconds to what is it 32 base cooldown i want to like it man i really do but it, that is just so damn slow <laughs> it's so damn slow slower than almost every weapon in the game right are there any weapons that are slower than that i'm trying to think I'm not using the Mantis power. I'm not doing it. I don't need to. I'm venting stupid humans. I don't need to use it when I'm venting stupid humans. I'll use it once they come in here. How many, how many upgrades do you need to make artillery not slower than every other weapon in the game? You need it at level 3, right? Because 32 seconds base cooldown will be how long it'll charge at level 2. I feel like artillery needs even more of a buff to not be useless, even more than you've already done, Slow Rider. It still feels too slow and expensive. I'll be honest. God damn it. All right, eye on your entire damn ship. This electron beam is OP. I need one power to actually use the damn thing. Okay, now I can have my shields online. Because if base cooldown is 32 and this cooldown at level 1 is 1 1.25, 1 fourth of 32 is 8, right? So this is a 40 second cooldown at level 1. Almost twice the the charge time for the longest charging weapons in the game. It's still so slow, man. Almost twice the charge time of a glade beam at level one. What a waste of a system. I, I talk like I'm actually gonna use the damn thing, but. Speed is king in this game. And artillery is the slow -ass, slowest ass poke of them all. Oh, yeah, I do have weapon booster. And still, I'm gonna get what? 
two volleys, three volleys off before it fires once. Yeah, I think we got three volleys before it fires once. I want artillery to be good, man. I do. It just never is. Just never is. Thirty-five, and I can't power it if I upgrade it. Uh, store. I can sell this pierce laser and the piranha. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Feels like they could make standard artillery better by standardizing the charge time and having extra levels do more damage. I'm pretty sure that is. Is that possible? I feel like people have suggested that, and I feel like that's hard-coded to not be possible, but I could be wrong about that. <laughs> yeah, Slow Rider says, not possible there. Um... Your second hard one was with Fed Double Halberd. Fully upgraded artillery since you never found a third beam weapon for the one-shot kill. Well, let me guess. You had hacking to make that possible. That build was good because you had double halberd, not because you had a fully upgraded artillery. In my not-so-humble opinion. Um... I probably don't get hacking on this ship because it's nerfed to oblivion cost-wise and speed-wise on in this mod. Oh, man. I'm gonna do something I'm probably gonna regret. I'm upgrading artillery. I want it to not suck so badly. I want it to suck less a lot. You just settled for artillery. That is the thing that you can do with artillery, I guess, is the thing that people say about artillery when they talk about how it's not so bad as I say it is, is, well, at least if you don't find a weapon. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is, I guess, something. I think the fire beam artillery fired right as the guy died. So useful. Um, store. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can do that and then dive. Okay. We get here in seven. I guess we'll find out. With this many nebulas, I probably get seven. I think actually. Are we in a rebel sector? Because we're finding nothing but these damn auto scouts. I think maybe we must be. God, this electron beam is. This electron beam is the real OP thing this run. So strong, man. I'm gonna wait for him to fire one more time for potential dodge training. That's a nice double reward going into store. Okay, so three nebulas. By six. Yes, we can make that happen. Okay. So I'm committing to a dive, so I should probably over repair a little bit more at this store. Oh, that's a toggle weapon, yeah. Manually search, we got clone bay. Oh, nice. That is amazing. All right, I'm going to put you on shields. Our weapons person's almost fully trained, so I'm gonna actually put the Mantis on doors right now. What is this Chimera weapon? 
Adaptable explosive launcher can fire a wide variety of ammunition, ammunition capable of changing between them during combat. Okay. Do I care about a one damage, two power missile? One power, two damage missile. That's that's actually really good. Um, I'm going to hold off because we got a store coming up. I don't want to invest in it right before store. Yes, I would say in general, weapon drops are more common in this mod. Okay, what can we toggle it to? Fire chance, uh, plus five second cooldown, breach chance. Plus one power makes it a, wow, a two power. That makes it a two power four damage missile. Evades defense drones. Ion damage. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I might have to use that. We'll we'll see. Good. That's a lot of fuel. Yeah, I'm going to take that fuel deal. Alright, what do we got? Temporal drive. Damn, I was hoping for mind control. Alright, I think... God, I don't, I don't know what I want to do here. Two missile weapons is not the greatest build, but if we ever fight a ship we can set on fire, like ever, this dumb bomb could be useful. It's four power, six shot. Volley, two power, two shot. 18 seconds, this is like a better First laser mark three, I guess. Uh, is that ablative? Ablative is a uh, whole damage. Okay. Okay, we're committed to a dive. So let's do this. Let's make ourselves able to use this chimera. Let's change it to anti-crew. Inflicts bleed. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm going to start on the... Oh, which one do I want to start on? Use of velocity stuns crew. I kind of want the f a fast one. If I'm going to crew kill, I'll do this. Counter evasion, that's pretty good. Okay. So that will fire before the other weapons. I can hit shields. They're less likely to dodge it. Alright. Anti crew mode still inflicts whole damage? Yeah, it'll be one damage instead of two damage. Gotcha. Oh man, I just committed two missiles. So I'll give you five. Alright, that's probably worse for the whole repair. I feel like I got like hardly any scrap at the end of this sector. <laughs> That's a big giant missile. <laughs> nice. Uh, the most annoying Leto in the world. Yeah, almost one shot your crew. Alright, we're fully trained on weapons. Alright, dive time. Do I upgrade my dodge? Uh, it's a nebula dive, so, nah. Hmm. 
That is a scary ship. Where is he boarding? That sucks. The rebel elites too. Okay. That is not who I told to move, or what, who I wanted to tell to move there. Okay, no dodges. That's good for us. What is this bomb? It's a three damage bomb. Okay. Okay, that's good. Back your places. Okay, you go fix that. We should be safe now. Okay. All right, good dive. We took no damage, except for crew damage. A little venting never hurt nobody, except when it kills all your crew. And you need to be saved there. Yeah, yeah, I got it, Mr. Porky. Thank you. Okay. Oh, God, Zoltan. Force Zoltan. Let's go. I really want mind control to help deal with these uh, potential Zoltan borders and other borders. And maybe actually be able to set people on fire. Choose your doom, uh, Mantis. Um, I'm going to try to crew kill this guy. I'm not sure if I get anything from crew killing this kind of dude, but I'm going to go for it. Okay, well that was a lot of dodges. Okay, that's good dodges for us. Get one shield down so I can actually do this. There. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can crew kill this now. Let's um, swap the stun bomb. This fire should start happening. Is that a level three? Okay, that's on fire. That's good. All right, fire should take care of the rest. I have a way to quickly destroy his ultimate shields. So, yeah, the electron beam will be pretty good at that. Yeah, true. I don't think it's like guaranteed to one shot it because the ion beam has been nerfed from what the OP version of it used to be with hyperspace, right? All right, as much as I want to use these other things, the best way to do this is just to be patient. If I do any more hold, hold damage, I might not get the crew kill. Electron does six damage to Zoltan Shield, okay. Which is... Zoltan Shield has five, so it's it does one-shot it. Um... Okay, three health and three systems left. We should have it. Gotta wait. All right, all right, fire. Spread up into O2, please. <laughs> God. All right. 
I guess the one way we don't kill him is if he's got level one piloting and the fire spreads and kills the piloting before it kills the crew. But O2 will be dead, so I think we'll still be good. Proof that fire spreads low, slower on AI ships. Does it really? Got him. Oh, 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 thank God. All right, nice double reward. Okay. For a second there, I thought the delay on the clone bay was going to make me not get the crew kill. Okay, secure fuel supply. Oh my god, he's got a giant flak and cloaking. What the F is this ship? Oh, come on. Why is... I'm not in a mantis sector, am I? Why is there nothing but freaking mantis borders? Okay, use haste. And you be immune. Using haste, I'm still not winning this fight, man. I'm gonna lose power by doing this. I knew he was gonna hit my clone bay. F U F T L. Insane, all effing insane. Every single one of these damn fights. It's got your third victory. Nice, Scrats. Uh, use chemical. That's awesome, my friend. Glad to hear it. Would have been flawless, but you mistimed your first attack on phase one. Took damage, two damage due to him living a little longer. Well, if you just took two damage on a boss fight, that's pretty good. <laughs> you have to get stupidly lucky to really get a a true uh, zero damage boss fight because you need to not get hit by any missiles, and that's really, really. You gotta get really lucky for that, so congrats, that's awesome. Alright, we've got a store coming up, and I want to save my scrap because why? Because I'm hoping to get mind control so I can deal with these damn borders. We're gonna go one, two, three. Oh, uh, wait, how, how badly do I want this quest, actually? Because that is two wasted jumps to get that. Oh, okay, I'm not getting that quest. You did get stupid lucky, you only missed flawless due to player error. Alright, well. Okay, this guy can't damage us, so. I'm gonna kill him and clone him. As much as I don't want to. How the hell did he just get through? Oh my god, he's got... He's got a phasing eye on. Oh my god. Kill. Kill that weapon. If he gets my clone bay... Oh, thank god. Frickin' bullshit overpowered weapon right there. that crap out of here, man. Oh, yeah. Sold on Clone Bay could have saved me. You're right. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Still, phasing Ion is busted. Just like Ion Beam is busted. Did they attack us for not looking at the Zolt Eye, or is this a different jump? This event in this mod has a lot more possible outcomes i believe slow rider can confirm or deny that but this mod this this mod has a lot more 
eventualities in that thing there. Who is almost dead? Harry. Let's go make sure you don't die by cloning you now. The Zoltan Eye event in vanilla is like a one in four to lose crew, to get a ship fight, to get free stuff, and for nothing to happen, I think. But I'm pretty sure there's like multiple ship fights you can get in Zoltan Eye in this mod, I think. Makes it less of a waste of a time. Yeah, waste of time for sure. God, I wish I wasn't in an uh, uh, Nebula all the time, so maybe I could actually do some crew killing with this crew killing ship. Of course, I am the one choosing to go into these nebulas, but still. It doesn't feel like I'm having lots of choices. Rock Investigator, so that means we probably never crew kill him with fire. So just kill him. No, not a good enough deal. One gets scrap and stuff, two is a healing burst, three is nothing, four ship fight, five lose crew, you think. Okay, is it one and five? I always think it's one and four, but you might be right. I think it might actually be one and five. All right, store. Please have mind control. Please, for the love of God, may I have mind control. Thank you. What else you got? You got long range scanners, which are good too. Which are five scrap more expensive than long range scanners in vanilla. <clears throat> Elite toolkit. Elite prefix. What does the elite prefix do? I honestly can't remember. But since I got a custom and an extended and a custom, I don't know that I can use it on any of my weapons except maybe this stun bomb, which I don't think I care enough about to do that. All right, look at all these ship fights though, nice. Yeah, I could only toolkit the stun bomb, okay. Five scrap, more expensive is nice balance without going to the top. Yeah, I would say that's, I, I'm probably cool with that. Whew! The Dumble Dumble Doge, man. I want to crew kill him. I need to not do too much damage here. So I want to... You're the one I want in mind control so you can't put out fires. There we go. It's not bad. Honestly, I don't know if I ever crew kill this anyway. Uh, let's do this. Nice. The challenge will be killing the rock man since he's immune to fire. And that I could do by getting an anti-crew missile, potentially. You could do during the fight, which is pretty awesome. Still don't know if that'll be possible. He's running. Yeah, I just can't do it. Finish him. You still think hacking is too much? Yeah, it's gone from 80 to 100 to buy, and then the upgrades have gone from like, what, 35 to level 2 to like 60, and like 65 to 80. It's, it's like almost double the price or something crazy for hacking. All right, let's go this, because I'm afraid of losing crew, and then maybe let's go power, and maybe next shield or a weapon upgrade or something. Okay, 
Let's change this to a tracker. Okay. Yeah, I really need third shield apparently because every ship in the freaking mod has first laser too, it seems. Ouch. Can I please get the burst laser offline? Thank you. point for this would be 40. Let's go ahead and do that because they just love to have lots of lasers. <laughs> Auto scouts all day, man. This could be bad. That's a firebomb in my, I think that's my artillery, right? Okay. I did one damage. I'm not exactly sure what that is, actually. It sounded like a firebomb, but it did... It's like a buffed firebomb? I think it might be a buffed firebomb. It did system damage and started fire. Wow, I actually got that out in time. Beautiful. I yield firebomb, it does one system damage. Okay. Okay. Was it also a breach? Oh, good question. It was not. I think it was just a fire that did one system. Alright, so I need 60 scrap to get my next shield, and I would need power, which probably make that work. Okay. All right, I think we could probably crew kill this. One missile into his missiles. Into his missiles. I need to be, be just be careful not to run out of my missiles. That's what I'm worried about. Um, okay, good amount of fires. Ah, uh, three health left. Running. I gotta say it's. Still really hard to crew kill this artillery, man. At least to do it while also disabling your ships to not do crap loads of damage to you. I'd have to, I'd have to upgrade it even more, I think. Well, let's go ahead and do this, because maybe as long as they don't have missile, maybe I can actually be immune to damage. And uh, do less damage to them at the start. Oh, that's a glaive beam. You're trained on sound quest in FTL. What? I think I sound on the music lined up with the hit. Oh, oh, you're saying yes. Um, audio cues are huge in the game. That's that's basically what you're saying, I think. Oh God, he hit both. Ouch. Do this. 
Yeah, audio cues what you're talking about. Gotcha. Nope, not a good enough deal. And we've done too much damage in the dam. I I can't control the mind control people, right? There's it's an augment to do that in your mod, is that correct? I think it requires an augment to make that happen. Uh, okay, here we go. A ship we can crew kill. I just have to be patient. All right. Depower this guy so we can maybe get dodge training. Ah, uh, we're maxed on dodge, so it's fine. Uh, let's have the stun bomb ready then. Neuralink is required to manually control mind control crew. It also lets you mind control resistant crew types. Oh, you can you can mind control slugs with that? Now that's interesting. But if it's a slug with another person in the room, how does that work? Is it still just randomly choose one, or will it prioritize the non-slug? Okay, they're gonna start taking turns fighting this guy here. I think I might actually need the who killing version of this to kill that rock dude. Anti-crew. You know I love this so you thought you'd share. Twitch made a Fall Guys pun emote. Fall Cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. Fall Cry. Even Twitch is is is, is punning me now, huh? Uh, what it takes control of is still is RNG Fest, which you hate? Okay. It sounds like there's no counter to that. He's just standing there not attacking the system. No, that's awkward. Okay. Uh, that was a terrible swipe, but that's okay. So if I wait till he puts out the fire, and then repairs it to level 1, and then mind control him... Actually, if I just wait, the O2 should do it for me. Yeah, the rock sting sp still, I think, was a, was a bug, I think. Why does it keep going right across that middle area? Yeah, it runs out of O2 eventually. Um, it's gonna take a little bit. Rock seems fast. Rocks are not as slow in this mod as they are in vanilla. But if you use their ability, they become immune. I think they still move around though, don't they? Let me test. I can still move them. Still move them. Wait, why did that guy feel faster than my guy does? does? Is he stower, slower in stoic form, maybe? Yeah, okay. In stoic form, he's slower. I don't think it mentions that in the description here. Maybe it does in the more um, full description. We care about a store, 52 scrap. I don't really want to sell anything. I think I go one, two, three. Yeah. What mod is this? This is Slowrider X Core's mod called SMPK Insurrection. You type. Exclamation point, SMPK, I think there's a link for it. Stoic drop move speed to this vanilla movement speed, gotcha. But I do. Oh my god. Okay, you guys go hang out there. I have to vent this entire ship. Time to vent the entire ship. We have Mantis all over the place. I have the wrong version of this.
Kill it with fire. I have just a bunch of mantids on my ship. Kill it with fire. I'm almost out of missiles, man. Okay, I was gonna have my weapons anyway. Wait, finish him, please. Got a charge out of that. All right, we got fire. I control you. Okay. All right, he's got a heal bay. Do I ever crew kill him without? Using up all my missiles, I'm not sure. Happy 4th of Mantis Day. <laughs> this is the worst holiday I've ever heard of. That was weird. How did... I don't know how that worked. I just, I just can't crew kill him, man. Can't do it. Single heal ban, I can't do it. No O2, I guess I can wait out for the O2, I guess. I have a feeling the fire will burn before it becomes an issue. Okay, we might control the guy who goes in here. Damn it. It's already on crew kill version. Problem is it still does one damage at crew kill version, right? Yeah, it's at 75 damage. I have four missiles left. I just, I don't think it's worth. Just, just kill him. Oh my God. Oh, it's close. Stunball medbay when O2 runs out. I, all those things would require me to spend more missiles, and I just, uh, I, I feel like my offense is actually kind of reliant on Chimera, Chimera doing some damage to their shields. I really need to find another weapon that doesn't use missiles. My offense is kind of bad right now. I, why do I have the stunball on mine? I dive for a store. I get one extra jump in a store if I dive. Kind of need it, but I also kind of don't want to dive with no cloaking. Mm, I'll take a five damage repair. It's fine. Oh, there's the fire stronghold. Okay. Okay. Uh, slow rider. What do, what do I need to look for? It's the key event, right? And what do I need to do? Help me remember, because I would like to get the last unlock. If I get the last unlock, that would be really, really good. Am I looking for a ship fight? Am I looking for an empty jump? Am I looking for... So it's pirate key we need. It's at an empty beacon. Okay. I'll go here and then down. I have long range scanners, right? Good. So I can go here and then through the store and down to check all empty jumps. Okay, this might actually be it, right? Is it the Zoltan Border Police? I want to do this right because it's so rare to do this. Is this the one? Or is it the Dread Pirate Tuco? Save the pirates, okay. Rescue the pirates, attack the Zoltan ship, okay. I think last time we helped the Zoltans. 
Oh, and of course it's a big giant, giant missile. Why wouldn't it be a big giant missile? That would be great. This is, I think, the random Sultan ship or the random pirate ship or something this unlocks. I control the pilot. Not my weapons. Okay, backup battery. That's annoying, but it's fine. I'm going to use one more missile because I'm kind of scared of this fight. I don't have to crew kill or anything, right? Weapons down. I hope not, because I have one health left. <laughs> and they'll die from just the burn. Uh, okay. Alright, contact the pirates. I never would have believed I would be saved by the Federation of all things. We've been on the run for weeks ever since we picked this advice up from some derelict. It's going, it's going to kill us if we keep it any longer. Here, take it. Maybe you can find a better use for it. Nice. Storage key gamma. So if we get that to the uh, to the base before the flagship we will I think unlock the final thing that we haven't unlocked yet in this on this mod that's awesome all right I really need a non missile using weapon it's the best key you say nice take one ship fight before the store be a little greedy now that we know we've already completed what we're looking for this sector Oh my god, double boarding drones. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got both drones offline. Thank God. But I have no dodge because the Iron Intruder. Okay, didn't hit my weapons or shields. That's good. I'm glad I took that repair earlier. Going for my clone bay. That's fine. Okay. All right, we're okay. We're okay. Oh, I swear these freaking double boarding drones. I get at least one every every run in SMPK, and it's always scary as hell, man. Best key is the key of the cookie jar. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I, 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 I can't disagree with that. That is, that is too true. True words have never been spoken. All right, I need to replace the missiles. This Chimera is good, but it's missiles, and I'm almost out. All right, we got pulse lasers to choose from. We have the temporal drive. If I want to go all in on this fire thing, where we speed up time, where the fire burns stuff down faster, could do that. Uh, let's see, two power, two shots, three power, four shots. Three power, four shots. That's pretty good. That'll get us through shields pretty well. Pie better than cookie? <gasps> Dem's fighting words right there, pie boy. So the temporal is 70. I would need two upgrades here. Um, I could go the pulsar plus the electron beam and do this. Right? No, this would be chain plus pulsar would be what this is. I have to do this to go. Wait. No, one upgrade. Yeah, that would let me go chain plus pulsar. Hey, use chemical. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. All right. I don't know if this build that I'm working towards is going to be any good. However, I'm going to go for it. Mind control, temporal drive. Let's go. This is me going all in on the fire beam actually being useful. Which means I need to get max artillery. 
and then probably max temporal drive. What does this do? Uh, this, this, we debuted this system, uh, it was created by the hyperspace dev team way back at the, uh, the tournament last year. And it makes it so that you can speed up time or slow down time in a room. It's really cool. It's not as strong as like some other systems like hacking because nothing is strong as hacking, but it's pretty interesting with boarding and fires and repair speed things. It's got some interesting interactions. It's unique to hyperspace. However, some mods that use hyperspace incorporate it. Multiverse, I don't think, is incorporating it, but um, Slow Rider has incorporated it to his mod, which is pretty cool. Oh, it has some blue options. That's cool. Oh, that's an interesting range on that. Okay. Why does that only two shot? Oh, is that two shots? Huh. That is two double shots, isn't it? It's like two. Wait, how does that work? So it's four shots, but I think it's two shots, two double shots. That's weird. Okay. I have never seen a weapon that works that way before. Let's uh, let's show this temporal manipulator in action here. So what I want to do is I want these fires to spread faster, or to burn down a system faster. So if I speed up time in this room, piloting will now burn down faster. So that's kind of how that works. I don't think I ever crew kill this, so I'm not even gonna try. Just finish him. It's a multi-shot flak weapon. Quick spoiler, the flexuals can install the temporal manipulator. Well, there, there you go. There's another mod that can do that. So Mr. Pork is incorporating in his mods. That's cool. Does it still have the shield punch? Um. I f that's a good question. Do two lasers hitting at the same time take down two shields? I would assume it would work like a flak and it would. But I don't know since I've never used a weapon that does that before. Escort, okay. I need power. Um, what do I want to upgrade next? I want to get the chain laser back online. So I need power for that anyway. So let's go one more power. To have this up. One bad thing about the augment, the uh, gamma key we got is I don't have room for any more augments unless I'm going to swap out long range scanners or something. That is a big giant missile and I do not like it. Interesting. I thought they wouldn't fight. Oh god, free hack. Speed up time, I guess. I thought they wouldn't fight until there was one damage in the room. Okay, look at that. Yeah, it does have the shield punch. Looks like it had two shields, then one shield, and one shot got through. Because all four shots hit. That's pretty cool. It drops two shields per burst, and that's the strength of the pulse lasers, that they have better shield punching characteristics than regular burst lasers. Cool. Quite interesting. There. Beautiful. Beep, beep, bum, boo. Man, every guy who's got a freaking rock I can never burn down. Oh, we did get his O2 down, but two health. Rock dude. Yeah, we're never killing him. Never crew killing him. Too low health on these guys. Crew kill him. 
You're slowly going to incorporate the system into your mods, the uh, uh, temporal manipulator, excluding where it doesn't make sense. Uh, we're lucky to play a mod with the maker and chat, lowering themselves to us plebs. <laughs> I'm not a pleb. You're a pleb. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Do we get a store? We don't get a store unless the, the escort could be a store. So let's not spend our scrap for that. That's a great pickup. All right. Although that was two jumps for that, but that's probably still worth. Slow rider X core more important than Rand. Probably this is true. Hard to argue with such a definitive statement. Can you temporarily manipulate rooms on your own ship? Yes. Um, the yes and no. You cannot change um, the one thing, and this was by purpose, uh, by design purpose of the temporal manipulator, is you cannot speed up or slow down the charging of weapons or artilleries or systems coming back online. So you can slow down or speed up time on your ship to heal faster, but you cannot make weapons charge faster, you cannot make artillery charge faster, you can't make systems recharge quicker by speeding up the room. It only speeds up time internally in the room, not the system itself, if that makes sense. Yeah, it would be, it would, I think they may have tested it for it to do that, and they, they found that it was too OP if they did that. I, th I think. Or that's something that Hard-coded, you can't make happen or something. I can't remember for sure. It'd make using Vulcan more fun. <laughs> make it stronger, that's for sure. Holy Zeus missile. Okay. Um, I'm going to fight this, but that's a six damage missile. So this could be really, 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 really bad. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Uh, let's speed up time in the room where they're fighting. Um, they're not gonna fight there, so I guess we just do that I, still. Oh, it's eight damage, it's a high yield. It's even freaking worse. Oops, I did, uh, oops, oops, I did that wrong. Firebeam's cool, but uh, I don't know that I'm actually going to get a lot of crew kills with it. I hope, I hope I can get more value as a crew killing weapon on the boss fight with it. All right, so artillery beam will be 55 plus power to upgrade next. I don't have any missile defense with this build. That's but scary. You can get three drones from a surrender in this mod. That's nice. Three drones from a surrender. Oh, is this is this Tuco, right? Yeah, it's Tuco. Challenge Tuco. All right. I think we get. Yeah, we actually get Tuco uh, from this event. Oh, is that an iron intruder drone again? Okay. Thank God he didn't go into my weapons like one of our runs. Wow, he dodged the entire volley. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what I can do? I can slow down the time it'll take him to get out of this room. So that's something useful there. A weapon offline. Why is this ion doing so much work? Because we dodge zero shots, I guess? Probably why. Whoo, that was some good fires. Yes, except please make me not take damage. 
Tuco, welcome aboard. Nice. And he is max trained in all the things. So probably I want him on... I already have shields. I could put him on engines so I could have double Zoltans and shields probably. It's Tuco Tuesday! Tuco time! <laughs> Uh, sir, I am willing to offer many schematics for my life. Do you accept? Oh, is that an event in... Which mod is that in? Is that in this one? Did I not... Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something. Firebeam is nice for giving you some breathing time, it seems. It's going to be very good. I just... It just needs to be not slower than every weapon in the game. In the, in the damn game. That's That's the downside of it. Slower than every other weapon in the game. So we need to make it so that it's not... So damn slow. It's the same issue as every other artillery that's ever been added in ever in every mod <laughs> of this damn game. It's too slow. So you have to you have to invest so much scrap into it. It is cheaper than vanilla, so it's got that going for it. It is already faster than normal artillery. Because for one thing, we have the weapon charge booster, which is basically a slightly better automated reloader that you can't stack. And the base cooldown is like 15 seconds or 18 seconds faster than vanilla and it still feels slow as hell but that's just artillery for you so every artillery that has ever existed okay at least yours are decent artillery i'm pretty sure yours are busted op mr porku if i remember correctly but we'll find out next week oh this can be a scary sector I'm pretty sure that's that's the thing about artillery. It's like you either make it so brokenly overpowered that it's not anywhere close to balanced, or it's really, really weak. And usually it's really, really weak. That's that's the kind of the problem with Artillery is it's it's hard to find that balance point because you know balance is hard I should have done the chain laser a little later I'm gonna slow down time so they can't repair this as quickly uh, Oh, they boarded me again Jesus That pulse laser by itself Is that the six shot pulse laser I looked at earlier? I think it might be actually By itself got through all my shields, man. Okay. This except you save your position there. Hear that. Pulse three, the four power three by two. Yeah, I saw that one in the store there and thought that actually sounds decent. And it can get through three shields by itself. You can't dodge, apparently. We're not using artillery here. Well, I guess these are like auto scouts where it could still be not completely useless, right? Because um, it'll stop them repairing stuff. Can maybe, if we get really lucky, burn the system down if there's two or four fires, two, three or four fires in it, in the room. I'm trying to think what I want to upgrade next. And we got that pulse laser one, which is a crappy one. That's a two power, two shot guy. I think I'm going to save for either the max artillery. We have another sector, so maybe I wait till next sector for artillery. I think what I need is missile defense, which the only way to do that is to get extra dodge. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, pulse 3, basically two vanilla burst laser 2s and a single weapon that fire at the same time. Only store in location online... Uh, location unknown is outside the nebula, so see if you can find that if possible. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid... Oh, they're immune to this, aren't they? They're immune to us venting them. So this, this, and this.
We didn't see it here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's up here where it's literally impossible to get to. <laughs> uh, well, okay, it could be one of these two. Actually, one, two, or three. Three of those I can hit. Oh yeah, Tuko's rallying cry. Increased movement, sabotage, repair, and melee damage of all friendly crew. That is really cool. I need to remember to use that. Thank you for that reminder. Like the best ability in the game, I think. Uh, Gambit Pawn, thank you for the three months of Prime, my friend. That's awesome. Holy weapons, Batman. Okay, let's go. Okay, I don't know if I can vent them because I don't know if it's... I think it's the guys we can't vent, but... Yep, okay. This, this, rally cry. Can't even use my mind control offensively. It sucks. Okay, thank God I didn't bomb where my crew was. That would have been bad. All right, way to go, Rally Cry. They just wrecked those dudes. Um, let's slow down time. Their weapons, so they can't repair it quickly. Need to learn to make use of this system that I hardly ever buy in uh, Temporal Drive. That is a high yield. How much weapon power is that? That's that's two. I think that's four. I think that's over eight weapon power on that ship. I'm not sure because I don't have all these weapons memorized, but I'm pretty sure this is a three power plus one because it's the high yield or overclocked or whatever, which is one power for more damage. Yeah, these are basically ghosts in this system. Yeah, I think they're called holograms, but they're basically ghosts, which in this mod, I think um, they can't be vented. They think they have half health and they're immune to mind control, I think. Uh, location of known enemies can theoretically go up to a 12 weapon power. Jesus. Humans that can't be vented truly are arch nemesis. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well played. Human who can't be vented. Well played. You say theoretically because FTL enemy... FTL enemy generation is weird when weapon power goes above 8. Okay. Double missiles, Jesus, and a Vulcan, it's like a breach version of a missile, it's in my temporal, okay, and we know they can't be vented because I tested it, it's two dudes, it's two dudes, so we have you go there, this guy go there, and you rally cry while you haste. Firing everything at weapons here. Please get the missile offline. Yes! Yes! Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Butimus. Missile's back up, but hopefully we can keep it down. The only thing online that really sucks. Slow down the repair. I'm gonna not wait on the electron because I think we can get offline if our chain hits before. Yes, beautiful. The Inventable Human, a new horror story, only on Rand 118's Twitch channel. That's right. Like that guy might have had 10 plus weapon power, but had weapon buffer points, yeah. The fact that the Vulcan is animated is pretty cool. Really your worst nightmare, human you have to keep. <laughs> is the Vulcan still like it is in the base game, or is it different in this? Um, I think it's been slightly adjusted. One of the things I like about this mod the most is that uh, weapons come in different variants. But the vanilla version of the Vulcan, I think... I think charges up slightly faster than the vanilla one. All right, so I think either our store was here or here where I'm never gonna see it, or it's here. So let's go this and we'll be able to see if it's there or not. 
There you go. Warms up six seconds faster. That's a lot of heavy lasers. Hey, I can finally see the enemy ship. Okay. And you guys are immune to this, right? Yeah, I can't do that. 75 health. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait till they bust in before I move over there. It's also running. Use your rally cry, go there. You use your haste and go there. This should pull the pilot at least. Unless he dodges everything. By the way, F you FTL. Wow, we lose that fight even with our training? Why are these guys so goddamn strong, man? Should use my control on the shot. Okay, that pulls pilot. Okay, good. All right. I thought I used mind control. Oh, I, t I tried, but they're immune. What's wrong with me? Oh, Jesus. God, these guys really want to kill Dread Pirate Tuco. Tuco, did you piss off some, like, really important holograms in your life or something? I feel like something's wrong over here. Get you over here. Red Pirate Tuco, like, pissed off a bunch of AIs or something. Please. Ah, oh, it's too late. One off lethal. Damn it. Okay, we got him. Arthur's low going into this. Oh, that's a storage key thing. All right. Um, I, you can't do two storage key things anyway, and this one unlocks something, so I think we just leave that behind. I guess it was these two guys that were low, and I really hate to vent them because the training loss. Oh, there's our store. Okay, you know what? Do I have stuff to sell? I do have this pulse laser one. Uh, yeah, they they don't get vented and they're immune to mind control. That's how those guys work. Whoops. Actually sells for more than long range scanners, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to max out that because that means we have two jumps to heal these guys. So they'll get healed by 50 before the next fight. Although store with a ship fight might mean we have to fight to get the store. The entire sector has been the victim of the most unusual incident. Have you heard anything about it? Okay, this is the story behind this. Okay. All right. I'm going to sell this guy. Could buy a flak. Well, I'm honestly considering not getting the flak. Because the Pulse Laser 2 does what the flak does better. And it would cost me a lot of scrap to get it online. Incident. Alright, we're probably gonna go there. Oh, who am I kidding? We've got a flak, that's our eight that's our eight weapon power. So let's go. I'm gonna repair all I can because I have a feeling we're going to take some damage coming up here. Is there any different? It's slightly less accurate. The uh, radius is slightly larger. Other than that, I think it might be a second slower. So very slightly nerfed. I don't think I want half power. Was that a double Artemis we just fought again? 
Oh, come on. Cloaking mind control, big giant missile. Give me a break, game. Ah, oh, God damn it, these fucking ships. Double effing missiles. Give me a goddamn break, you shit game. That's going for my weapons. I'm hoping that this applies to fires here. The the uh, repair thing. I think it did. Hey, what do you know? I can't fucking dodge anything. So surprised by that bullshit. Insta has a 50% chance of dropping WPI. And I need level 302 to safely take it. I don't know what WPI is. Hold down time. If this missile hits, I'm jumping. That hits. F your big giant missile, slow rider, by the way. F those missiles. Pre-igniter. Okay. Alright, we'll see you later, Bacon Fries. Okay. Hello, saying hi so you can hear my name in the VODs. All right, Suicide Pepe. Hi, hi to you. It boards me again. Okay. To the rallying cry. This, this system sucks, by the way. This system is insane. Slow down their repairs there. It's your birthday today? Well, happy birthday, Suicide Pepe. That's awesome. My birthday's only seven days away. So you must be a fellow Cancer. Which I don't know why I say that every time I talk about birthdays. Did I make the repairs faster? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So you say I need level 302 for this event. Okay. I really wanted to get black over chain laser online, but that's not happening anytime soon. I need a lot more scrap. Answer for the win! Yay! <laughs> Wait, that's not a good thing. Hacking in a big giant missile and running away. Go F yourself, FTL. What the hell are all these bullshit overpowered ships we're fighting every single run today? So insane. Thank God, get that crap out of here. Get that out of here, you piece of crap. Get it out of here! And nobody wants that crap around here. Let's actually do it this way. The bold option, which means not using the blue for long range scanners. Bold option, the bold, okay. Gets me a pre-igniter, huh? So I have to lose long-range scanners for it. 
Train long range scanners for a pre igniter. I'd probably do that. All right, anything I need to do else before that? Do they have any crazy boarding? I kind of want to get doors. Although I can't vent them anyway, but I'm going to do that. You haven't been able to catch streams in a while, so you're, you've been looking at the VODs on YouTube. 50% chance for a pre-igniter, 50% chance for a very silly meme weapon. Okay. Alright, well, time to be bold, I guess, and hope I don't die for it. Um. So is it this? Move the ship in closer? I don't, because I don't know what bold is. I assume it's not this. I assume it's move the ship in closer. Is that correct? Move in. All right. Warning lights flash. Station comes into range. Tense cyber attack on your life support system. Make matters even more desperate. The rebel ship launches from the facility. Charges towards you. Weapons armed. Level three life support. Okay. All right, so we barely keep those online. They're gonna board me double breach flax. It's also on fire. Are you freaking kidding me, game? So they're attacking my O2, they're attacking me in here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, that's just on fire. Okay, so let's do this. And this. For you to repair quicker. You go back there, okay. I'm gonna fire everything at their weapons because their weapons are terrifying. Okay, we got one, we got the scarier flak offline, that's good. We're going to slow down time this time. Slow down. Okay, he's back in my O2 again. They really, 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 really hate my O2 in this event. Damn it. Um, I can't get through shields with that, can I? How did that flak get through on its own? There must have been another shot that went with it. What, what are you doing? I told you to go there. Not what's happening. Why can't I move two people in there? My game's bugged. Why can't I move two people into my engines? There's something shitty going on there. Freaking Clone Bay. What a, what a douchebag of a fight this is, man. There, now I can go in. There's There was a bug with the crew right there. There was, there was thinking crew was in that room when there was no crew in that room or some BS. He has a variable flak. Is the tile movement enabled? It is. For some reason when the AI uses variable flak, it targets multiple rooms and not one. Okay. The flak moves slower, I think. It keeps getting there later than I think it's going to. Okay, I think we've got there. Jesus, he's freaking variable flak, man. It's crazy strong when they have it. Of course it's pretty strong when we have it too. Can we get him? Alright, there we go. Come on, pre-igniter. Give me a pre-igniter. 
Okay, no pre-igniter. The rebel ship is defeated. All traces of the virus are nowhere to be found. All that remains is the space station in the distance. Clear that trying to get any closer proves suicidal. Do the death strap in your wake and actually hope the real fleet will st stumble upon it. The hyper beam. Eh, it's a glaive beam. It's a really long glaive beam, but it's 25 seconds. Without a pre-igniter, I'm not using it. So, cool. I'd rather have gotten a pre-igniter, honestly. Hyper meme is what it is, yeah. I mean, same amount of power, same charge time, same damage, but it's, wow, it's almost triple the strike range. It has a firing, unique firing sound that might get you in trouble. I, I doubt, I doubt you'll get in trouble. <laughs> uh, what do I need? I need the weapon. I need the weapon upgrade. I'm gonna save for that. Reason it targets multiple rooms is because it acts like a charge laser, but all the shots fire at the same time. Okay. God, these ships in this sector are just busted overpowered, man. This, this track is way too loud. Can I dodge a missile for once in my life? No, no I can't. And of course, the only weapon I want him to get offline is the only weapon that doesn't go offline. Okay, thank God it's down. Please stay down. Good, we finally effing dodged something. Uh, slow down repair speed. This sector just sucks, man. If I ever have the cho choice to go to location unknown, never, ever, ever come here again. He's in my O2 still. Jesus. Bans ran for dodging one missile. Okay. Oh, man. Do I get the weapon? Do I for the weapon or do I get the dodge? I think I just have to get the dodge. Every freaking ship in the galaxy has a big giant missile, so I just have to do this. I think I need to get out of this sector. I am really close to dying. Closer than I want to be. Missiles, man. Give me a goddamn break from these goddamn mother effing missiles in this mother effing game. Four shield ship, man. <sighs> these ships are so effing stupidly overpowered, every single goddamn one of them. I think you need to nerf this sector, honestly. Oh, thank God we dodged one. Decent dodges. We have a laser that by itself can get through our shields, a missile that can bypass our shields. First laser two and a lance beam. This is like a 10 power weapon system or something, I think. Get me the hell out. Just get me out, game. 
Please don't make me fight just to get out of this sector. Yeah. Remain concealed. Outrun them. Get the hell out of here with that stupid bullshit missile. Alright, I can deal with Mantis better than Zoltans, I think. Than Zoltans. Oh, oh, I have a giant fire in my ship that I didn't know about. Because I've been living in a nebula for the last eight years. Yeah, the last like three sectors I haven't been able to do fires on anything. Which is again another weakness of ships like this. If you rely on a on a mechanic that ships can be immune to, then uh, your ship is gonna be weak to a lot of other ships you can run into. I need a store just to repair right now. If I don't unlock your ship because I just can't fight anything but fucking missiles, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. Quit FTL? No. Quit viewerships and make it just another day to get salty at hard mode no pause? Maybe. I don't know, man. It's just, it's uncounterable. There is nothing you can do except never play with any of the fun systems like I'm trying to do. Like, I just have to get hacking and cloaking every time, otherwise the game is un-effing playable. If I let him run, we'll get a weapon, but I don't care about a weapon. Make that seven health. <laughs> no store. Asteroid field. I hope I see a store somewhere, otherwise I think we just die. No missiles, finally. Okay. But it is asteroid plus triple laser, so we could still get pretty wrecked here. I'm gonna mind control the engine guy right as I fire. Zzz. Can I ever dodge something? No, I'm not allowed to dodge. I have to take it in the ass every time. In the ass! Okay, at least that didn't time out and we finally got some goddamn dodges. Yeah, the idea behind this ship is cool, Slow Rider, but uh, like most things in execution, it just doesn't seem very viable. Maybe if I had cloaking and hacking so I could actually not die to missiles all the time, maybe I could actually use this, but no stores. Four ship fights everywhere. Kazakh, big giant missile. Okay. My control and speed up time. No, oh, did he just dodge my entire volley? Yeah, basically. 
The three damage missile. Oh, thank God, we fucking dodged it. Maybe I can actually crew kill this if I can get the missile offline. Missile's the only fucking weapon that won't go offline. Give me a break, game. Speed up time. Burn. Burn instantly. Burn, burn, burn. Get that shit out of here. Thank God. Okay, we crew kill him. God, I hate missiles so much. Christ almighty, they should not exist. You know what we should do to balance your mod? Just fucking take missiles out of it, man. I swear. Goddamn missiles. Alright, it's a crew kill. Oh. Oh, I actually got Kazak. Okay. Um... Do I lose long-range scanners for Mantis Pheromones? Um, we're about halfway through Sector 7. It actually gives us melee damage, which is pretty useful. I think I will do this. Uh, before I do it, though, what I can do is I can see if I have a ship fight next. There's the quest. Okay, the quest is going to be a free weapon, which is great. Right, where can I move Kazak? I guess we just have a really good anti-boarding party. No, let's actually move... I know what we do. We have a silly device. That's what we do. Hopefully silly device can bring us back to victory. Silly device, please save us. Please. Save us by giving us a store after this quest that'll be a free weapon. You don't think Mantis Pheromone's worth losing long-range scanners for? Makes the entire crew move faster and have 15% melee damage. Uh, run is blessed? I sure hope so. I'll keep long-range scanners. Crimson Fury. Two-power bomb. Guaranteed to hit, guaranteed fire chance. Pretty good. All I care about is a store to not die. Thank God we got a store. This is tricky because you know what's in the key and what theoretically should be dropped. Uh, and you don't want to give it away, huh? All right. Just, just heal. Um... Okay, I'm never going to use that. Am I going to use this over the flak? Since I... Mm, let's see here. Tree system damage, guaranteed fire chance. That might be better than a flak. I know it's better than a chain laser, but the problem is this is one power. I could replace the pulse laser with this. Called the best key for a reason. Okay. Do I get rid of 19 second charge time? Pretty slow, but it's really good. I think I like Power Bomb plus Flak better. Replace Flak? How, do, uh, how does getting the Power Bomb instead of the Flak make us do whole damage? I think that's the opposite of what I want to do. I think I want to get rid of Pulse Laser and go Power Bomb plus Flak, because that'll be two, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a guaranteed fire. It's a little slow, but this guarantees gets down one or two shields and starts a fire in shields. Then we could follow up with a flak, chain laser, electron. I think I like that better. I 
think I like that better. It's three power for four damage on the other guy. So it's good for getting through shields. It's basically flak, but slightly better. But it's also more expensive than flak. And I can get this, and my weapons are online. Ah, uh, six gems. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then I can max this out. We got our artillery fully upgraded. Okay, I think we go with this, and then I also want to upgrade these two systems if I can. I don't know if I go for shield or not this run. I just don't know if I'll have enough scrap for it. Sun and Asteroid Field. Just wow. Okay, as long as he doesn't charge them all, it's not the worst. Your friends. Game's fast time. He's dead. Refill oxygen. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Power bomb this. Everything at weapons. And we want to kill the heal bay if we can. I need to wait on the flak. I need to fire the flak a little earlier, I think. Volley, can I dodge some shots? Okay, perfect amount of shots. Beautiful. I can't stick around for a crew kill here. Okay. Not in the solar flare that gets free damage on us. Hurricane Slash. Oh yeah, we have Hurricane Slash on him. I forgot about that. We have another store. Basically a Breach Bomb too that does fires instead of breaches. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that's correct, right? Yeah, that sounds right. God damn it, game. Go fuck yourself, man. Getting angrier and angrier the more I play FTL, I swear. Yeah, never misses. Yeah, it's got a hundred and something percent accuracy bonus on it. Which is something that uh, hyperspace makes possible. All right, intercept the ship. Oh, it's a rebel elite gladiator. Okay. This, 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 rally cry, haste, speed up time so we kill them really quickly. All right, get the hell off my ship. Oh, 
Oh, thank God, we're finally getting some damn dodges, man. It's taken the, that's the entire run, but we're finally dodging some damn shots. That is not what I meant to do there. Okay, just take this out. These have been some crazy strong ships we've been finding today, I swear. Every run, just the ships are just busted. I don't have that many missiles. I guess I did use missiles earlier on the run, didn't I? Got a repair drone that's repairing stuff super fast. Okay. This will be a really good reward from this. The hammer time. So it's a heavy laser that has an accuracy bonus, a higher fire chance, a higher breach chance. And fires faster. Interesting. The flak is really slow. I wonder... I wonder if I should use that instead of the flak. The only problem is power bomb by itself is not quite enough to get through shields except for it takes multiple shots. I don't really have a good way to get through shields. Flak is the best, but it's, it's the travel time is so slow. Maybe I can, maybe I can make an adjustment if the store's got anything good. You buy that Pulse Laser 2 back that I sold earlier. <laughs> I was actually thinking maybe I shouldn't have gone for that instead of the flak. I didn't realize I actually have one extra weapon power I have access to, so I could trade flak for that. But I think what I really need is defense, so I think what I'm going to do is sell this and go for fourth shield. Pretty sure that's what I actually need is this. Ionic laser. Um, two power, two shots. For ion plus regular damage. Uh, I don't think it's good enough. I don't think that's going to be better than flak. For getting through shields, I don't think. Also, I just kind of don't want to spend the scrap on it. I want to I wanna be as efficient as possible and get my shields online. Even though missiles are what kill us. We're going to need that for phase two or whichever phase of the boss has auto scouts or uh, the drone phase. More missiles, my favorite. Yeah, I think I finally timed my weapons correctly there. No missiles, please. Okay. Phase two, well I know it's phase two in vanilla, but the phases are all funky in this mod. Phase three, he's got a bunch of onboard drones. Does, does he have the overcharge phase two? I think maybe he does. Or a boss, I should say. Okay. Okay, well, we don't have drone control, so we can't even use that. We sell long range scanners. I think we get an augment from the base. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to get there in five. One, two, three, four, five. So I can get this repair. Still get in the base before him. So one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So let's sell long range scanners. Pretty sure I'm like 80% sure we get an augment from the boss. 
I want to spend scrap on crew. Not really. I really want to get power, mind control, and these upgrades. Because I think we can do some work with fires and high level mind control on the enemy ship. Oh, wait. I went to the wrong jump because I don't have long range scanners to see that. I should have gone to that one first. If I go here, I'll have a choice of either one of those not being take over, taken over to go one, two, three. He's going to go one, two, three, four. So we get there one jump before him. Do I care about the last store? I don't. I just care about getting as much scrap as possible. Two stores. Well, the uh, entrance beacon in SMPK is always a store. And the base, I think, is always a store. So there's actually three stores in this sector because we all, we also see the unicorn store. So storeception. We need crew kill. We need crew kill for this fight because it's the not enough time. So it's time to test this out. So what we do is we power bomb the weapons. It's a good dodge. Mind control. Whoever tries to fix it. Speed up time in there. Good dodges. Yep. And now we just wait for fires and use our power bomb and mind control as needed. I think I'm going to need to use one bomb here. 17 bombs. We should be good on missiles, I think. Very nice. Power bomb, drop those wrestling moves. Is that a wrestling move? <laughs> uh, stop preparing that, though. Going for Stone Cold Stunner and Suplex Dead Nerd. <laughs> All right. Go home, Pybo. You're drunk. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Huh, he actually doesn't move into this room if he's uh if there's already a guy a guy manning it beautiful okay finally this is like the first fight in like eight sectors in sector one or two we've actually been able to crew kill him oh is that a, is that a water boy uh reference All right, no missiles. I can actually get some crew killage going on here. Speed up time. Now it repairs pretty quickly. But if I do this and this, maybe the repair drone will go offline. Perfect. I don't want to use too many of my missiles up, but I do want to crew kill as much as possible here since I'm finally, finally able to. And I slow down time here. Which let him 1v1 a couple guys. That's pretty awesome. Nice! Neural network and a whole maintenance kit. Wow. So this is a one-time heal. Um, damn, I can't replace... Well... Um, this protects from mind control. So this would actually let me use mind control offensively on phase whatever, two or three. Um, but this will give me a repair after one of the phases. Ooh. No, don't spoil the key. I'm I'm one jump from finding out. Unless it has to do with mind control, actually. Um 
Because if this would be useless... God, I, I kind of want to keep this. Drop the booster? Hell no. This affects my artillery and all my weapons by 15%. This is the only thing I'm not dropping. It would be the neural network or the... Oh, mate. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep the neural network. Let's go see what this key is. If it's something that affects mind control, then I made the wrong choice. All right, source key is reacting to something. Gamma key. End tech autoloader. Crap! The weapon charge booster... is redundant. It overrides it. 25% increased weapon charge speed. Well, damn. So this is just overriding it. Ah, well. Ah, well. It's fine. It's fine. You did call it, Mr. Porco. You called it. Let's go like this. We can back up battery. Level 3 this. And a temporal drive. Maybe we can get a level 2 temporal drive after phase uh, 1, potentially. Might even be able to go back and get more scrap. Oh, why did I think the exit beacon was a store? Maybe, I mean, the base, the, the fight was a store. I forget. Is that a battery hack? Okay, we'll take that. Absolutely take that. It didn't hit my weapons. That sucks. Well, I never get the backup battery. Since I can't, I might as well use what I have now. Okay, what do I want to take out? I want to take out his cloaking. Okay, I didn't get the missile offline. Mind control level three. This guy in here. Speed up time so this burns down faster. So if I'm going to get crew kills, they can't be cloned. Cloaking is offline, which is great. Perfect. All right. That's a lot of good crew kills. Um, I'm going to take out one of his weapons. Let's take out this weapon. It's looking really good for crew kills here. My shots keep disappearing and I don't know what's causing that. I think I'm just getting really unlucky with timing or something. Wow, the level 3 mind control is still going on. That's crazy. Come on, kill those guys. Perfect. Uh... That should kill that guy and keep the missile offline. Okay, how many crews do you have left? Three. I think he gets extra crew every round, so it doesn't hurt me to get extra crew kills. It's phase. I think it's actually good to crew kill everybody, I think. But uh, I'll leave. I'll leave two alive. Was that was that defense drone shooting down my shots? I think the defense drone was doing something. Although maybe it only shot some flak shots, and I thought I heard that shooting down my laser shots or something. All right, not a bad phase one. Well, if I can get to the store to sell my weapon charge booster that's being overridden, that would be useful. Wow, we have gone really late. This has been a really long run. <laughs> I guess waiting for fires to kill crew over and over makes for a slow run. Go figure.
Yeah, I wouldn't want to be over here either. They get plus one crew per phase. Gotcha. And so I do get store. And I'm actually guaranteed to not have to dive back for the boss. So I can sell stuff, repair. This is great. Even get one extra ship fight for extra scrappage. All right, do I care about anything here? I don't think so. All we care about is this is being overwritten, so we sell it. Repair twice. And I want to get the last power and temporal tribe upgraded. And I get max piloting, sure. Just back up battery and get those guys. Cool. Been a really good Sector 8. For sure. Well, I will say a lot of the fights were really tough because we didn't have clack clacking or hoking. So. Um, but the boss fight has definitely gone better than a lot of the enemies we've been fighting. Wow, no dodges. Oh, oh just barely enough dodges, actually. At least phase one of the boss fight was easier than half of the ships the last two sectors because frickin' location unknown. Wow, well, that's a good deal. And I have space to do that. Yeah, yeah. So that lets us upgrade um, the flak. I think the flak is the only one we can upgrade. So that makes this one second faster, slightly more um, accurate, and a slight breach chance. Elite Flak. Beautiful. Very nice. Puts it in here. Alright. And 38 scrap would let us get... This is for you, pie boy. Swiggity swag sensors, baby. Swiggity swaggity swiggity. Elite Flak 1, also known as the Vanilla Flak 1, yeah. <laughs> okay. First thing we do is power bomb shields again. That is bad. So we do this. Do this. We have you go here. Kill him before I can do his thing. If I speed up time and I make this happen before he actually kills it. Yes! Bomb. Missiles offline, so all I gotta worry about is the uh, millions of these guys. Power bomb that. Okay, we should have one or two crew left after this phase. Look at that friggin' fire beam, man. That was closer than he thought. Temporal, temporal haste also makes it pulse faster. Yeah, I know. I knew it was a... It was a chance I was taking, but because I was able to get my Mantis over so much faster and the haste from this, I thought we would kill him just in time. And we did. It was close. It was a bit of a gamble. But we also had Zoltan, so we wouldn't have been completely out of shields, but yeah. That was, it was close. Alright, follow in case we need to run away, which we shouldn't need to. Okay, so I can't... Oh, this kind of sucks. I can use Power Bomb... God, I can only use it when I bomb him. I mean, I can only use my control when I bomb to see the enemy ship. Pulsar, huh? Nebula actually kind of sucks. I can't use my mind control offensively. Although, they might counter it anyway, so I'm not sure. Triple effing hit. 35, uh, well, we actually had more than that dodge, so... Which 
check if there's a fire up there. There's not. Okay. Power bomb. Oh, I just I didn't see the human. Because stupid nebula. Okay. Uh, I am going to. What do I want to do? Do I want to speed up time? I'm going to slow down time. I don't even know what I want to do. Slow down time there, I guess. Wow, I'm getting shafted on dodges. Christ almighty, game. Give me a goddamn break with this. I have 45% dodge when I'm not getting effed in the A. Alright, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, that's one of our longest runs ever, but GG cookie time. Federation C+. Plus. That is all the fed ships. Fed all. All we have left for the, for the plus ships is the Zoltan ships, which hopefully will be easier since they all start with Zoltan shields. Check that score. That was a really long run. 59.91. The macaw. You get loads of drones in this. I had 45 at the end. It's true. I didn't have any hacking or drone control to use them on. Ion beam to kill shields faster. Yeah, I guess the... Uh, that ion beam was really good for Zoltan shield killing too. Alright, my friends. Well, we went like 30 minutes late and I only did three runs today. Because that run must have been like three hour long run or something. That's almost multiverse <laughs> length that runs. But waiting for fires to kill crew... Is not going to be fast. So, so we got Kestrel R. We are guaranteed to unlock Capital A in the next two plus weeks. All right, cool. So we got some more ships to unlock after we finish the Zoltan ships. We probably have to do the random ships or something. So, my friends, hope you had a good time. If there's anybody new to the stream, if you had fun, hope you hit the follow. We'll play some more FTL on Wednesday when we do our hard mode no pause streaking. Tomorrow is going to be satisfactory, Thursday satisfactory, and then more V Rising on Friday. So, hope you all had a good time. As usual, as I always say, thank you for all the support. Bits, follow, subs. We had some gifted subs. Pie Boy with the gifted subs. Nietzsche with the gifted subs. All that awesome stuff. Y'all make this possible, and y'all also make this fun. Even when I rage and get salty. So, thank you also for the people who create the ships. So, until next time, peace out, happy gaming. Enjoy this tea shanty. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. Later, my friends.